Right. Problem number 34 of section 2.3 asks us to use the inverse function theorem to calculate uh, the derivative of an inverse function at a certain point. Now, recall that to use the inverse function theorem, we need, uh, first, of all, or first of all, a function that's differentiable. We have f of x equals x squared plus x to the fourth, which is indeed differentiable. And we also need an interval, i, with, on which um, f prime of x is not equal to zero um, for any value of x on that interval. So if we see, um, first of all, that if we take i to be interval of zero infinity, then we certainly have that since f prime of x equal to 2x plus, plus 4x cubed. We see that, um, that you know, for, we're taking only positive values here, so we're going to get only positive values here unless x is equal to 0, but 0 is not included in the interval i. So you know the, now the inverse function theorem says that, um, I'll just abbreviate this, IFT for inverse function theorem says that if f of a is equal to b, then um, f inverse, the uh, derivative of f inverse evaluated at the point b is going to be just the reciprocal of the derivative of f evaluated at a, meaning 1 over f prime of a. So we see that um, we have a value, we're asked to calculate the, um, f inverse prime at the value b equals 20. So first of all, we need, um, need a value for which um, uh, for what we need a value a such that f of a is equal to 20. So let's see if we have f of x equals x squared plus x to the fourth equals 20. Uh, we can see that if we let a equal 2, so f of 2 is going to be 4 plus 2 to the fourth is 16 does indeed equal 20, so we'll let a equal 2. So now our next step is to calculate f prime of a or f prime of 20, or excuse me, f prime of 2. So we have f prime of 2 will be equal to 2 times 2, or 4, plus 4 times uh, 2 cubed, which is 8. And this will be 4 plus 32, or 36. Right. So now, this implies that the derivative of f inverse evaluated at 20 will be equal to 1 over f prime of 2, or 36.